Welcome back to another video. <laughs> but it's not just any video, is it? Oh no. No, no, not even close. It is episode one of Minecraft Aquatic Adventures, the new Minecraft series on this channel. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking me for more Dennis Sucks at Minecraft, but we couldn't really do any more episodes. We did everything there was in the game. We beat survival. We even did all the little like optional side things. But now there's something a whole lot bigger to explore. A lot bigger than any of you might even imagine. I don't know how much of you have heard about the update aquatic. Probably the biggest addition to Minecraft in the last pretty large amount of time. I can't really think of what was the last biggest update. Maybe like the adventure update or the combat update, but even then, th th those really didn't seem to add nearly as much as update aquatic. And as you can see immediately right off the bat, looking into the ocean, there there's there's it's not just an empty body of water anymore. There's things here There's the coral reefs fish Underwater structures. They completely revamped how you swim Everything the breathing system the sounds guys there's there's a lot to explore is what I'm getting at here. <laughs> so absolutely deserving of its own series and uh, Because we are currently in the snapshot this I believe this update is fully released on some other platforms But I highly highly prefer the Java edition of Minecraft That's all I've ever really played and that's all that I'm used to so I'm uh, currently on the snapshot Which means that it is a pre-release it shouldn't really affect much I don't think it'll change at all what we do or how this series is gonna play out So um, hopefully though, we just don't run into any game-breaking bugs. I have pretty high hopes that everything's gonna be okay um, Because these snapshots have been out for a while now and there have been a lot of updates and tweaks to all of these but I decided this being episode one, we should uh, we should set some ground rules and kind of make sure we're all on the same page going into the series. So, first off, very, very important is I want you guys to always know, always remember that I am going to be checking the comments after every single video, seeing if you guys have any suggestions or tips. I know that I've gotten a lot of help in the past before from people just leaving comments. And so if you have something to say, say it, because I do read the comments. I really, really do. I'd, I'd very much like to see what you guys have to say, whether you know something about the snapshot or if you'd yeah, really like to see something from the series. So uh, starting off though, Let's quickly take a look at the settings here. I want to make sure that the difficulty is on hard. There we go. Because all of the Minecraft videos we do on this channel, difficulty is always on hard for those. Go ahead and back to the game. Okay. So another thing that you guys should know is I kept making worlds until I got one that had a pretty good spawn because there were a few times where I made a world and I was like in the middle of the forest super super far away from any oceans and for the ocean update it's pretty important to be near some oceans so <laughs> I know that there are there were like we just spawned on this little island here so we're gonna have to make our way over there to actual proper land but because so much of this update revolves around the ocean I figured that we're probably gonna be spending a lot of time in and around the ocean so my goal for today's episode and I'm thinking going forwards at the start of each episode I want to have like the set goal that we have to get done for that day today the goal is to simply have a small little temporary house on the beach with a bed and I think that's a pretty easy goal to uh, to achieve so we got more than enough wood now to kind of get ourselves going I would probably just I'm just gonna go ahead and and head over there um, and then on our way we can kind of see what's up with this ocean man so as you guys can see 
there is now things as simple as all of this seaweed that has very nice animations. So did the does that stuff actually drop? Do I need to break it from the bottom? Okay, I might start drowning. Ah, ah. Okay, so we got some kelp. <laughs> I think you can actually make this into some sort of food or something. <gasps> There's a fishy right there. Look at the fishy! A little salmon. Oh, man. They're actual proper mobs now. That's amazing. And all of these fish, you can capture them in little buckets and then put them back into the water, meaning you can make aquariums. And with this update, they also completely... <gasps> Ooh! near ravine oh that's amazing okay another thing with this update they changed the way water uh settles in blocks that might be a little confusing at first to explain but essentially slabs and stairs and things that previously did not work with water at all now work with water just fine if you guys are wondering what my uh what my character is all about apparently in a snapshot they give you some random like account almost it's very strange like it's not uh my, my my usual Minecraft name is Danger Dennis, and right now that's just simply not the case. No, I don't know. A little confusing, but I'm not too worried about it because the save is on this computer, so we'll be fine. We'll be able to return to it, no problem. So, let's go ahead and uh, place this down and make ourselves some, well... We'll just start with a little bit of wood. You know, want to keep some logs reserved, and... Uh, most important thing first off is always a little pickaxe let's see should we just head straight to the ravine that will give us pretty much everything we need okay okay here's what i'm gonna do first thing i kind of want to say is there's this cute little bay right here that is attached to the ocean so i don't really know exactly what our kind of end game plan is in terms of where we're settling and whatnot because like I can't even really explain how much is in this update. There is just a crazy amount that they've added and changed and th like it really is going to take us many many episodes to fully explore and truly take in all of the new all the new content. I'm going to start off by just doing the very classic typical Minecraft start. You got to get some stone, you got to get some coal, you got to get a bed. Maybe we'll get some shears as well so we can find some sheep. If you have eight, that's enough for a smelter, but then you also need another five for the tools. So you would need 13 cobble ideally to start. Okay, fine, we'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bunch all of this coal together. For those of you who watch Dennis Sucks at Minecraft, you you may already know that I really like uh, mining everything up so that they're all just kind of sitting together and then at the very end I jump in there for a nice very rewarding gather. It doesn't change or do anything. <laughs> I don't know, look how satisfying this is. <sighs> <laughs> yes, yes, very good. Okay, we need a little bit more cobble, and then we can head out of this ravine for now. Well, mm, I kind of actually want to get myself a, uh, a, uh, 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 what am I trying to say? Some iron. There's got to be some iron down here. I mean, come on, we're in a ravine. Here, I'll actually get this coal then real quick. <laughs> All right, up we go. Man, they got all this new swimming sounds. It's, it's, it's good. Sounds good. I like it. But here we are. I'm going to make you. And then I'll pick you up for now. Well, then I might as well make. Fine, fine, fine. I'll make a sword real quick. Hit. Let's maybe sort out our inventory. I'd say we got a decent amount of stuff now. And let's make a couple torches. Might as well. Nice and sorted. It is slowly becoming nighttime. Let's maybe head up, grab some. Hey, wait, no, I want you. Ah, okay, grab some food. Um, and you know, it looks like we may not necessarily be able to get shears right away. Should we maybe just swim up this? Okay. And so, because we're playing on hard, we do have to be, you know, a little bit concerned. It's it's not it's not the easiest time. Okay. There we go. Ah, if I could just. Ah, what is this? Why is there sandstone here? Oh, right. Well, of course, because I'm on a beach right now. So there's going to be a lot of sand. There we go. Fine, fine, fine. I'll pick you up. Actually, I'll just build me right back up. Perfect. And 
just like that. Oh, it's already getting so dark. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine, 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 fine. Hold on, hold on. We'll come back here, we'll make a little hut. We need sheep though. If we can just find a bundle of sheep, we won't even need uh, to get some shears. Am I playing on, oh, uh, no! Stupid spider. No, I very specifically am saying no to you. There we go. Oh, there's so many mobs out already. Okay. I forgot that hard is actually like, you know, it, it can get a little bit difficult. A little bit tricky. Oh. Okay. I am dying. <laughs> I just need some food. Mr. the cow, I'm sorry. It's just there's mobs everywhere now, okay? Like, look at this. They're just, they're, they're everywhere. They're all out in the open. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm actually about to die. This isn't good. So another thing with the oceans is if a zombie is oh dude what whoa okay 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 i'm gonna come down here because even though it's extremely spooky oh whoa hit ah, ah, that was dumb that was really dumb i'm almost dead <laughs> actually isn't this how we started dennis sucks at minecraft i just hid in a cave for the first night I'm pretty sure that's how that went down, and it makes sense because you might as well explore a cave during the first night considering it's too dark outside anyways. So here, this will be our temporary little little hut, not really hut, but whatever, a little underground shelter, and uh, we'll get this cooking in the meantime. Oh boy, okay, Maybe we have some rotten flesh, that probably wasn't a good idea, I don't know. I don't really get how the flesh works. Like, it gives you hunger, but it makes you hungry. Like, what? Does it get rid of more hunger than it gives you? It's more of just a temporary boost? I don't know. Okay, come on. We almost have... Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, we're still hungry, though, but we're at least getting some health back. All right. Um, hmm. 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 How should we do this? Oh, there's some iron right there. Okay. Um, I don't really have any dirt to spare. I suppose I can use cobble in the meantime. Yeah. Hit, bit, hit. Ah. Ouch. <laughs> I need my health to regen. Come on now. Okay. So, we'll make some shears, find some sheep, and, uh, get probably some... Let's in the meantime discuss what kind of plans I have in store for this series. So, um, a couple of things that were added is coral reefs. Um, sunken ships, treasure maps with like hidden treasure. There's like actual X's that you got to find and then dig down and I don't know. I, I, I really don't know too much about it. I didn't want to learn literally everything because I want a lot of it to be just discovered while I play the series. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to be is going to be just as new to me as it is to you guys, which I think is quite fun personally. Um, oh man, and now we got this iron here. I'll go ahead and do that. You know, I'll put another one in there too. Why not? And probably a little bit of cobble. It's always good to start off with some cobble. There we go. Okay. That allows to build down here. Uh, maybe do this just for safety. Okay. And boop. I'm going to keep putting torches on the right. Man, this goes so low. Okay. Got a little bit of parkour to start off. And now we're at the bottom of this ravine. It's not really a ravine though, is it? It's more of just a, a giant hole. And there's the moon perfectly right there. Wow. Um, I hear a zombie. Where's the zombopoline? There's some more stuff going on here. This is just an overwhelming amount of cave. Wow. I don't think I'm going to go there just yet. I want to give myself a second to just sort of gather my bearings. All right, so there's nothing over here. This is a nice little enclosing. I like it. But it's definitely not what uh, what we want because we want to be an ocean boy this series, don't we? I could go down there, kill these zombies, light up this ravine a little bit. Could do, could do. I would like to go back up, though, because I believe my iron is going to be pretty much done. Okay. And we're getting cobble as we do this as well, which is very nice. Okay, so I actually made a list, guys. I did not check it twice, okay? But I'm about to right now. Here we go. So 
I made a list of achievements that we could do for this series. Uh, one of the top ones being make an aquarium with every different fish. I think that's a pretty good goal. Have a house with an aquarium. That sounds like a lot of fun. Make a water elevator. That's another big thing you can do. Hatch a baby turtle. There's turtles and you can, you can get the eggs and then hatch baby ones. That sounds amazing. There is a trident you can get, discover a water ravine, defeat the phantom mob, yada yada. The list goes on. That was only the first few points. So we got, we got a lot to do is what I'm saying. So I think every episode I'll take a look at that list, see what we can get done that episode, and then that's the goal that we have to hit. Um, so right now though, the goal is still just make a little house with just temporary house with basic survival needs that includes a bed and since we have shears well that's just fantastic we got to go ahead and find some sheep um i am going to probably head back up right now and then whatever mobs we kill i mean that's only bonus for us really we just get uh, we get some more resources from that okay Gotta be careful coming up here though, because if I fall, well, I'm dead, aren't I? I'll go ahead here. <sighs> At least I'm not playing on hardcore mode. I mean, I could, but then there's the whole issue of the series is over whenever I die, and I don't think anybody wants that. Okay. Oh boy, that zombie has a iron sword. That's pretty spooky. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of. Okay. All right. There's a there's a lot of you. There is a. A lot of you going on. This is too much. Ow, ow, ow. That does so much damage. That is ridiculous. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. I can do this. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You there, Mr. Zombie. Yes, you can come here first. Oh, you do so much damage. What? Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? This is a good time to eat zombie flesh because. It'll get me some health. Will it though? Why is it? Why is health not regening? Hello? Oh, there we go. <laughs> that, that wasn't very good. All right. Well, um, now I gotta go kill some more cows. But first, gotta deal with this skeleton man. Ouch! Please. Ugh, I can't get hit one more time. No! That is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, okay. Good thing I'm close. Man, this is hard. All right, maybe I shouldn't be putting up with uh, with mobs yet. Maybe it's too early. I think I'm getting a little bit ambitious. But here we go, it's fine. I didn't really have any levels or anything big that I lost there. So we're gonna have to find a coral reef eventually. That's gonna be amazing. I'd like our house to be near a coral reef because this is all just seaweed. There's no reefs right here in this immediate vicinity. But I mean, you don't really... Yeah, I, I don't really know. We didn't really uh, explore the oceans too much here yet, though, which we will do very soon. I just got to focus on living, which so far I'm not doing a very good job of. That's okay. All my stuff is right here. It's okay. That's fine. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Good. 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 Well, not doing a very good job of keeping the land all pretty looking, but that's fine. Okay, so let's head on down here, see if we can find any sheep. Am I missing anything that I notice immediately? No. Probably helps having things slightly in order. Okay, that's fine. There you go. We'll just keep things like that. Hello there, Mr. Cow. <coughs> Death. Yes. You too. Hey, <coughs> Yes, yes, yes. Man, what is all this? Oh, is that a little dolphin? I see a dolphin, guys. There's dolphins. I forgot about the dolphins. I'm pretty sure you can tame dolphins and ride them. I might be wrong, but I'm not. I But, but I might be right, too. I, I don't fully remember. I just watched a whole lot of Captain Sparkle's snapshot updates. <laughs> and so that's the extent of my knowledge when it comes to... <gasps> There's a turtle! Hello? Hello, little turtle! Oh, wow! Man, I didn't think we'd find one so quickly! Wow! Okay, I want... I want to be around here. This seems really nice. Wow! We do have other things to tend to, like this very spooky sand cave. What the... 
Okay, a lot of caves in this area, but that's not our concern right now. We need to be taking advantage of the fact that it is daytime right now. So uh, if we could find some sheep, there's some wolves over there. That's pretty exciting, but I don't actually think we can really, can't get a wolf right now. We don't even have any, any bones. Oh, this looks nice. I like these little, these kinds of caves are nice. How it gradually goes in, it's not just some hole. Well, I mean, it is just a hole, but I don't know. It looks way more natural and, and beautiful. Okay, where are these sheep at? I need some sheep, not you, Mr. Chicken, or you, other Mr. Chicken. I want sheep. Oh, guys, I just found some sheep. <laughs> This is such a nice little area. It feels so good. It just like it's bright and peaceful and there's trees and fields and ponds and animals. This is great. Where are my shears? There they are. Okay. Feel that, sheepy. So I do need the same color wool and it looks like we're having a gray bed. We just got three wool from that one sheep and we got three wool from that sheep. Do we want a light gray bed or a dark gray bed? Wow, there's some horsies right here and then that very nice little biome. Wow. Um, wow, look how many sheep are right here. Dude, I kind of want to leave these animals for now because we could totally make a farm out of them and then get a whole bunch of food. All right, well, I will use these shears as much as I can while I can. Thank you, sheepies. Good, good, good. You'll make a great carpet. <laughs> well, in the meantime, this seems like a... <gasps> We're right beside a ravine. Okay, all right, fine. Temporary home is going to go right... Ouch, ow, ooh. It's going to go right here, I think. Move back, back maybe a little bit closer to where we spawned, and we'll still be right beside the ravine. And there was another cave in this area, so I think it just kind of makes sense. This definitely won't be our permanent location, but like I said, we do need something for temporary survival. Um, let's maybe go right here. So I'll actually uh, clear out these trees because this just seems like the perfect little little corner to settle in. So here we are. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Are we just gonna make some poop little dirt hut or is it gonna be like a cute little wooden hut? Doesn't really matter, like I said. Very, very temporary. So there's still some wood in here though, we must take care of. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. And then that'll wrap up a successful first day, except for the fact that we died. That part wasn't very successful. Here we go. Perfect. So, over here is going to be the house location. Uh, wait a second, I have shears, what am I doing? Oh, these leaves are just everywhere, littering the ocean. Come back here, come on, there you go. Okay, cool. So, this will be our little, our little spot. Okay, and let's go wood. Man, we have a decent amount of stuff. I gotta say, not too bad, not too bad at all. So we can go, I suppose, uh, boop, boop, boop. That'll be our little window there. Yes, yes, very good. Um, and then, well, I suppose we should probably go like this. Doot, doot, the doot. Doot, 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 doot. Maybe another little cute window right here. What am I doing? It's like I never built anything before. And yeah, it's our little pad. It's nice. I like it. Let me put this down first. Eh. And then you can make us some slabs for a nice little roof. And, well, actually this works. We just go like that, keep it super simple. Like I said, guys, it's temporary. Very, very much temporary. There. Then these slabs allow us to use half the wood. Not too shabby. Oh, what am I doing, what am I doing? Here we go. We want to take you, go like this, yeah. Nice. And maybe another little, little window section here. Yeah, yeah, sure, just like that. Cool. Then like this, and, uh, well, okay, well, these are supposed to be, okay, fine, hold on. <gasps> uh, guys, 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 I don't mean to alarm you or anything, but there is trouble amidst, look, it's a water zombie. These guys now, these, there's a new mob, it's a new mob in this game. If a zombie spends too much time in the water, then it gets all, gets all watery. <laughs> Ew, ugh. It has this terrifying, terrifying sound. Is he not, is he not evil? I don't know. 
I can't remember what these guys are called. It's like the drowned or something like that. I don't know. Very spooky, but you can either find them just in the wild, in the ocean. Sometimes they might be holding tridents. It's very, very rare that we, A, if they're holding one, then B, if they're even going to drop it. <gasps> Hello, little doggy. Oh, you're just hanging out. You're not even tamed. I'll take it. I'm going to make a doorway. <sighs> Three doors. Okay, well, that's a little bit much. I don't need three doors, but that's okay. Here, then we'll put a torch right there. A perfect little start. Okay. Um, nice. Very cute. I like it. We can go here. We can make a bed like this. We can do a nice little gray bed. Yeah. Cool. We can put you right there and then you right there. Wow. Okay. A cute little house. I'm going to start cooking some things. And just like that, guys, actually, maybe we'll even do this real quick. Just plop a chest down, put pretty much everything in there, except for the necessities, like some wood, I'll keep that, some coal, some sticks. Uh, but otherwise, though, guys, on that note, I would like to thank you so much for joining me for Minecraft Aquatic Adventures episode one that's right guys what we're gonna do actually I want to keep up our tradition of you guys might guess what's about to happen subscriber signs yay woo we had to wait until this point right here just because before this I mean there wasn't a house or anything to put a sign in and I think eventually what I want to do is name the fish in my aquarium after the subscribers so um, we'll probably do that but for now we're just gonna have to stick to signs so forgive me for that one but guys just leave your name down below make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you'll have a chance of having your name put up on the subscriber sign for next episode but anyways though guys on that note I would like to thank you so much for joining me for Minecraft Aquatic Adventures Episode 1. The start of a big journey that I'm very excited about and very excited to bring you guys along with me. So, like I said earlier, let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or tips or yeah, I don't know anything. Just leave a comment. <laughs> but um, Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave it a like. Maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the Sir Meows a Lot and Pinchy Plush Toy, both available at BennettsDaily.com. Link in the description below. But other than that, again, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.